Hi everyone. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use custom text or custom fonts inside Stencil. So here's my simple scene here, and I want a title to go right across horizontally on the scene here. Uh, to add text, you have to go to Events. We then went ahead and added an event, and we would choose When Drawing. When we choose when drawing, we're then going to come over here to the right and click on the drawing category. We're then going to choose draw text anything, put it in there, and you're going to type in your line of text and you're going to put in the coordinates. Remember that you can get the X and Y coordinates right from your actual scene editor. So if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see X and Y. And as I move my mouse around, you'll see that those numbers change. So the way the text works is it starts from wherever your mouse cursor is and then it spills out to the right so it's what's called left aligned so if I want my text to start right about here I would go ahead and memorize those two numbers there okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one there okay so I've got this here um, and then I went ahead and I want to tell stencil to use a particular font so I want to click on this button over here on the right called styles and I want to choose this blue block here that says set current font to font and then when I do that I can then choose which font I want and all my fonts show up here so I want a custom one because stencil comes with only three so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the web and this is a nice website that I recommend uh, defont.com that's right d-a-f-o-n-t.com so um, there's a whole bunch of different categories here from different places around the world, different times in our history, um, a whole bunch. And of course, you can go ahead and do search. Um, the most important thing to know right now is that you should not use a font that is copywritten. So don't go ahead and grab uh, a World of Warcraft font because that belongs to Blizzard or um, the Star Wars font or anything like that. So you want to make sure that you're not choosing something that um, has a copyright. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose this category here under Techno. I'm going to choose LCD. Um, and you'll see that you get a whole bunch of kind of classic ones here. Here's a classic one here, uh, Game Over. A whole bunch of really nice old stuff that goes along really great with the, uh, uh, with the retro look. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Arcade here and see if anything pops up that looks good. Okay, so quite a few here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and download this one here called Arcade Classic by Pizza Dude. So if you click on it, you can then preview it here, and you'll notice that on this particular font, um, there is no lowercase. So you have to know that before you download this. Um, it's, it's all in capitals. Um, as I look down here, I have numbers, which is great. But as I look down here and I look at symbols, things like the um, and symbol and the um, percentage those do not exist so you have to kind of do a little bit of research on your font before you actually use it okay and last but not least on the font you can go ahead and type in something so if I type in the title of this little mini game and type in evil castle and I'll make it nice and large and hit submit um, the nice thing is you can actually see what it looks like so you can decide if this is the one for you so I'm going to use this one so I'm going to click on download and there we go, we've downloaded it. So I'm going to go to my desktop as that's where it went. And here it is right here. So most of these fonts come in as a zip file. So you have to double click them and they will then unzip. And here's the folder here. Once you've unzipped them, you can delete the zip file if you want. But if you ever lose this folder, uh, you have to download it again. So inside the folder uh, is the font. And it's this file here that says the name and it says .ttf and that stands for true type font. So you don't need to do anything in the folder, you just need to know where it went. I'm going to go back to stencil and now I'm going to go ahead and make a new font based off of what I just downloaded. So call it Arcade Classic. Now here where it says font, I'm going to go ahead and hit choose and this is the fun part because now I can go find that file the TTF file. Hit open and there we go. So it's in. Um, and now I can go ahead and type in a bigger number. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do, eh, I'm going to do 50. So that looks like. Now I have a dark color background, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a lighter color font. And I'm going to go ahead and choose something like this, kind of a gold. And there we go. Okay, so I'll close that. It will save. I'll then go back over here to my event, say choose event, and ta-da, there it is right there. Okay, so now the real test is, of course, is to test the scene. And the biggest things that could be the problem are the font size and the font location. So you might have to do a little bit of trial and error um, to get it right. Okay, so there you go. You can see that it's 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 in the correct X, um, or sorry, it's in the correct Y position. I like it there, but it needs to move on over to the right here. So I would uh, go ahead and fix that. But the size is re really readable and the color is readable. So I would just come over here and you know change my numbers and maybe make it right about here. So there's a little bit of guesswork in this, but um, once you do it a couple times, you'll be really good. All right, I hope that helps you out and have fun uh, finding fonts that match your game.